your math teachers probably told you that expressions like this have no solution. And if you're only looking for real numbers, they were right. The graph of 7 to the power of x never even touches the negative side of the axis. But if we step into the complex plane, the rules changes. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to find the hidden value of x that makes this impossible equation true. So since we're focused on a complex plane, we have to take the complex log, which is the natural log of both sides. That's going to be our first step. So I'll take ln of 7 to the power of x equal to ln of negative 49. Good. So this simplifies into ln of 7 to the power of x equal to ln of negative 49 is same as 49 times negative 1. Very good. So for this negative 1, I'm going to be applying the Euler's identity that says that negative 1 is equal to e to the power of pi i times 2k plus 1. So I'm going to be substituting this here in place of negative 1. So our new expression now becomes ln of 7 to the power of x equal to ln of 49 times negative 1, which is e to the power of pi i times 2k plus 1. Good. Now let's close our bracket. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm that says that when I have ln of a times b, this is the same as ln of a plus ln of b. So we're going to be applying this to what we have here. So we have ln of 7 to power x equal to, now this expression just like this becomes ln of 49 plus ln of e to the power of pi i times 2k plus 1. Very good. So now simplifying further, we have ln of 7 to power x equal to ln of 49 is same as 7 squared plus ln of e to the power of pi i times 2k plus 1. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm that says that when I have ln of a to the power of b, this is same as b times ln of a. So let's apply this law here, here, and here. So this expression now becomes x times ln of 7 equal to, this becomes 2 times ln of 7 plus, this becomes pi i times 2k plus 1 times ln of e. Very good. Now to get the value of x, we divide through by ln of 7. So I'll divide this by ln of 7, divide this by ln of 7, and divide this by ln of 7. Now notice that ln of 7 cancels out from here, leaving behind x to be equal to ln of 7 cancels out, leaving 2 plus. Now we have ln of e, which is the same as 1. So 1 times this expression gives the same thing. So we have pi i times 2k plus 1, all over ln of 7. And this is our final solution. Recall that k is an integer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.